Good Saturday morning. It is like 6.30. I'm actually getting out a little bit earlier than I did last week, so I am very happy about that. I'm probably going to do about 10, hopefully 11 miles this morning, just like every Saturday because of basketball. Uh, I think today is the last day of basketball for everybody though, so that's cool. And um, it's like 25 degrees out. It's kind of chilly. Tomorrow for my long run, I think it's supposed to rain which really stinks, but I don't have time today to do it, so tomorrow it is. Yesterday, throughout the course of the day, I my knee started hurting, so I'm hoping that doesn't really bother me too much today, because if it does, I might not make it to 10 or 11 miles, so. Boy, oh, there's always gotta be something. All right, I will check back, bye. I'm running up this hill. This here, I had to point this out, is a ginkgo tree. I know it doesn't really look like much now, there's no leaves on it, so I'll have to check back on it again. I don't come down this way too often, but it's like my favorite tree. I don't know where it came from, but it's really cool. You'll see when well, it's got leaves. So this is the rest of the hill that's gonna lead me to another gigantic hill. All right, I just got back from another fantastic run. Like, I don't know what is going on, but it's great. Today was was great so I'm gonna keep going with this as long as I can I know it's all gonna come tumbling down eventually so anyway so I did 11 miles 11 great miles it's kind of cold not not too cold but and let's see it's going through all the all the data here I gotta recover for 43 hours so I did 11 miles, 818 pace, done. Uh, kind of not sure how many miles I have done this week. Oh, my training status now says peaking. I don't know exactly what that means, but I know there's a way. I can see what I have done for the week. So let me see if I can find that. Totals. Running. Weekly. I found it. Oh, this week it says 93.35. Is that right? Shoot. I thought I was at 100. That's a bummer, man. All right, okay, bye. Now we're off to basketball. Good morning. It is Sunday. It's a little after six and it's long run day, but um, it's kind of not really raining, but it's like drizzling and they keep saying it's gonna rain. So it's not super cold out. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna stick to the treadmill today or if I'm gonna run outside. So. We'll see. What do you think I'm gonna do? Am I, am I gonna run outside or treadmill it today? It's a long run, so I'm not really sure. And it smells like skunk today. Something either got sprayed by a skunk last night or hit by a car or something. Like, I smelt it in my house before I even came outside. I was like, what is that smell? It's a skunk. I could definitely smell it out here. You, he, you. All right, I'll let you know what I do. What do you think? Let me know. I think sometime today or this week, it's time to order a new pair of running shoes because you see how like worn out that is? I don't know. I got a lot of miles on these. I, I'm gonna guess it's over 500, so it's time. But I always have a hard time when it comes to ordering new shoes because I, I, I'm not in love with these, so I don't know if I wanna get these or if I want to try something else I don't know what to do but see this one's got a little bit of wear like that too so not quite as bad as that one but wear just the same god I don't know what to do should I stick with Brooks or should I go back to my Skechers or I've been looking at those the Nike 
vapor fly or whatever they are. I don't know if I even want to get those. I don't know what to do, but I need to do something. Well, I decided that I'm going to do my long run outside. It's rainier now than it was like an hour ago. I'm procrastinating. I'm getting out so much later than I was hoping. My stomach feels gross. I don't know how this is gonna go. I had Chinese food last night. Probably was not the best idea before a long run. I think that's what my problem is, but hopefully it will stop raining. It's chilly again. I don't know. I just don't like rainy days. Not the first time I've run in the rain though, so I got this. All right, I'll check back. Bye. All right, I just got back. I actually did my long run outside today and I went a little bit further than I had anticipated. I was planning on doing like 23 or 24, but I went the full 26, well, 26.2, cause how can you go 26 and not do the point two? So anyway, I will um, get into that a little bit, why I decided to do that today um, and and all that I'll get into that after I get inside dry off and uh, warm up a bit so talk to you soon hello welcome back I just wanted to get back to my 26.2 miler that I ran today for my training run um, the reason why I did that is because I am just crazy literally no well I mean maybe a little bit crazy but um, the reason why I did the 26.2 today is because I like to have a 26 sometimes it's 27 28 miler um, under my belt during my training cycle it's kind of funny because when I trained for my first marathon I had considered going to 26 miles but I was like you know what I am not gonna do that because I'm gonna get to 26 miles and I'm gonna be like I gotta do that again uh-uh not gonna happen so I stayed away from 26 I think I maybe topped out at like 22 maybe 23 I don't even remember so after I got into the high mileage I was talking to my friend the guy that suggested high higher miles uh, about running and he said how do you know what your body can handle once you reach that 22 23 miles like how do you know it's gonna be able to handle and how it's gonna handle those last few miles if you don't run to it or through it and I kind of thought about that for a while and do I really want to do that on a training run and I don't know but I went with it and that's kind of what I do every time now every every training cycle so I I like it for a few reasons like number one so I do know that my body is gonna be able to handle it how it's gonna go like today I ran 26.2 I didn't have any water with me no water whatsoever and I only had three little um, cliff blocks so not even a full package just three of them and I I managed it was cold it was windy it was wet but I I managed and I think my pace was like just over nine minutes like 902 or something like that so to me mentally I can always think like well I got through those 26.2 miles no water hardly any fuel like I can do this I can do this so that's part of the reason why I like it as well so it's all good I just you know it was a nice run despite the weather I had I had a good run so anyhow and I also decided to do it today because I don't know like what next weekend is gonna bring what if I get sick what if the kids are sick like I don't know what it's gonna bring I figured I was gonna go to 24 anyway what's another 2.2 so that's how my mind works I got it done and that's it so yeah all right well I will talk to you guys later bye my kids are actually pretty quiet so that's good okay bye <laughs>